Hi, this is Cindy Abbott Litro for Behind the Camera. We are at the Buffalo History Museum and about to start a press conference that announces the filming of Coldbrook, a movie starring and written by one of our hometown heroes, Bill Fickner. It's a big day. Press conference, your dream that you've been working on for a long time, announcing that Coldbrook is starting to film in Buffalo. I mean, what was this like? I know you're a, a real softy, but what, you know, it's because of you that it's here. Well, um, um, thank you. Uh, you know, I, I, this is where the Buffalo Park comes out of me, because if I stopped for a minute and was like, oh my God, I can't believe all this is happening, but all I'm really thinking about, I'm, I'm so grateful and happy for this, I just want to make a really good movie. And, and, and I mean this, this is the Buffalo part, the, the, the working part, the blue collar part that's like, what really matters is we got to get it done. And I'm so excited that, that I, there's just a, a huge sense of relief that that place that I'm going to get it done was the one that I dreamed about. That is here. Well, in this, though, it's your movie. I've never met this, him, sorry. Okay. My name is Kim Coates. I'm <laughs> such a fan. No, I'm such a fan. No, I'm really... No, I'm a really listen, fan. Listen, I'm a big listen. fan. I know I'm a big fan. Listen, I have, there's, I have a, a oh, PR you're person I'm, over you're there. You're doing Can you it. Can talk sorry, to no, them? Sorry. Can you... Thank you. Thank you. You two, if you didn't know, that was Kim Coates. You two met on Black Hawk Down. Um, you know, that was a movie at the time, I don't think anybody knew how big that film would become. And you took the part, you were in Morocco. Tell me about how you two met. I was, we couldn't get the Black Hawk helicopters, so we were, we were, we had an extra like three weeks of, of training. And with one week of training to go, Kim Coach shows up and I, I was with the Czech stunt team. They were my guys I was training because I was trained by special ops guys and none of them could speak English. And I was like, every day was like, oh boy, how am I going to do this today? And then he showed up and he's like, they're like, hey, we got uh, actor Kim Coates here. And he said, hi, everybody. And I'm like, you are on my team. <laughs> I, I understand. Come over here. <laughs> And that was it. So speaking English was the basis was a, of was your... a big part. He said, I'm Canadian. I said, I'm not going to hold that against you. I get over here. I love you. And uh, you're working with me. And You know, it's interesting because you have Canadian investors in this film. Yes. This film is truly sort of an international collaborative effort. And you got your Canadian friend in it. I, uh, when I met Sarah and Shane, my co-producers on this, who are from Canada, you know, one of the first things they said to me is, can we shoot the film... Uh, in, in Canada and I said no you can't you you have to come this way um, and then when they got here they got it they really got it and um, and after they spent a few days here they said well we'll never ask you again of, of going to Canada to shoot the movie we're, we're shooting it here we want to be here um, yeah it is it, it is uh, we're from all over the map on this movie and that's um, that's what it takes to make something like this you know you never know where all the pieces are going to come from and all of a sudden you turn around it's like because I literally look at it that way like it's just a puzzle and every day and I still have a few more pieces to go <laughs> but I put one in and I'm like Phew, okay we're good there so we have we have a big mix but Coates always told me when I was in Morocco when we met that um, I told him I was from Buffalo and when he said where are you from this is the first day we met us and I said I'm from Buffalo and the next thing he said to me was he said go Sabres I was like okay we're on, a, we're on to a good start because, you know, Buffalo, this is a true story. He said, you know, Buffalo is, it's part of Canada. <laughs> I said, 
oh, that's interesting. I'm like, hmm. I like this guy. So you're really filming in Canada then, according exactly. to Kim Collins. Is that it? Yeah. So the, the, you've made everybody happy. I know. No, and I want to. But how long was this journey from when you came up with the idea of the story to starting tomorrow? Ten years, a little bit longer, of writing it and thinking about it. And but it was about four years ago where I thought. You know what, I, as, as years went by and we'd work on the script, every year I would change the age of the children in the movie because <laughs> we got older. And then one day I was like, they're not gonna be in high school anymore. And, and it's part of the story. So that's when I realized I gotta make this movie. And something shifted for me. And, uh, but you still need, you need, you need angels to make it all happen and believers in uh, and I certainly had them here in Buffalo, but um, uh, Sarah Shack was she my co-producer and, and Shane. They both read the script and they they said we really want to be a part of this. We want to be a big part of it. And I said you, you can be as big a part as you want. Help me get it off the ground. And and they did. What is it if you were to tell people that are listening to you and they're going okay I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down when Cold War come out, you know comes out I want to see it. What is it that would make people want to go to this movie and enjoy it? I love movies. Uh, some people call them feel-good movies. I love character-driven movies. Um, when I gave this script, when we first completed the script and I gave it to my manager, he said to me, um, he said, I, I, I'm really impressed, Bill. I had, I had no idea what kind of movie you were writing. This is, you, this is, it's going to be impossible to make this movie. I said, why? He goes, there's, there's no guns, there's no sex, there's no police. There's, this is a movie about doing the right thing. They're great movies, but they're the hardest movies to make. And I was like, well, that's okay. You know? So I like those sort of films. I like films with deep message. I like films where it's not about you know, millions of dollars and maybe a small town guy could lose his job and the stakes are really big and that's real and I, I wanted to make a movie about real people and I, I think real people get movies about themselves <laughs> <laughs> and I'm banking on the fact we got a lot of real people in this country and they're going to see this movie. Tell me a little bit about how you got involved in Cold Rock. Well in a nutshell I met, you, you did such a wonderful job today by the way Cindy, I, I met him in Morocco, Black Hawk Down, 2001 uh, just before the world changed, uh, with the towers coming down, which is so emotional and still is for, for all of us. But I met in Morocco five months. We're best buds. He came back to L.A. I did, too. And, and he wrote this story with Kane DeVore, his, his, good, his good buddy, a few years later, with he and I in mind. And it usually takes, Cindy, seven or eight years of constant, you write it, you change it, you get notes. And our stardom just kept going up and up. And, and here it is, eight, nine years later, we're actually shooting it right where he always wanted to in Buffalo. So we're pretty excited. How do you decide what projects to take? Of course, you have a friendship with Bill that, that this is one of the, the things. But, I mean, what do you look for in, in a script? It's, it's always about the story. It's always about the part. Sometimes it's about the director. It's, it rarely is where it's being filmed. I've traveled all over the world. That's never a key issue, whether I should or shouldn't go. It has to do with the story and, and the script and, and the character. And I say, I say no to a lot of bad boys, because I take those. This gets a lot of bad boys. It's the eyes. It's the you eyes. never blink. The cheekbones. <laughs> um, so I, I, I say no to a lot of bad boys, but sometimes the bad boys are the best to play. So when they're good and they're juicy, like my Sons of Anarchy character was, I, I, I love saying yes to those. But th these guys are... Our, our janitors at a, at a college and they're family guys with kids and something happens and they have to do the right thing and they do it's an incredible story tell me what it's like working with a friend you know we're, we're gonna come back and find out how good this was in a couple of weeks yeah but uh, no but I mean when you're working with a friend does it hard I mean do you do you view it the same way as you would uh, any other role it's the best and what makes this one in particular the best is we play best friends in the movie. So there's no acting required. Like we've, we've known about this for seven years, eight years of this script. So there's no acting required. This is going to be, we're putting on the suits, we're putting on the, the stuff. We got Brad Hankey's joining us. 
amazing actor. I mean, we're just best friends in real life, so bring it on. And it's funny, and it's heartfelt, and it's such a good story. We can't wait to share it. Mayor Brown, today is an exciting day. Uh, this is a film that, you know, we've been talking about for a long time. Yeah. Could you tell me, because I know you worked behind the scenes to also make this happen. Well, Colebrook is a film that is the passion of Bill Fickner. He wrote the script. This will be his directorial debut, uh, something that he has worked on for years and something that he wanted to bring to Western New York. And it's so exciting that tomorrow filming on Colebrook actually starts here in Buffalo, uh, the village of East Aurora and Western New York. It's just a great, great time for our community and for everything that we've collectively done to build Buffalo as a good destination to film. Well, you know, it's, it's funny because it seems today there was so much excitement in the air and everyone is looking and it, it was a collaborative effort, but I, I wonder why is it different here than other places? What makes the difference for these people? Because they're saying, the Hollywood people that come here, that this is a wonderful place to work. You know, so many of us have uh, worked together closely, Buffalo and Western New York. We are the community of good neighbors. We roll out the red carpet when people come in and uh, I know that my administration has been able to work closely uh, with you as chair of the Film Commission uh, and uh, Tim Clark, uh, our Film Commissioner certainly with County Executive Mark Polencars and all the way uh, to Albany with our Governor Andrew Cuomo who has been a major supporter of film and uh, to our state legislators and uh, Senator uh, uh, um, Gallivan, Pat Gallivan who has been such a wonderful supporter of this film tax credit for upstate New, New York. I think all of those collective efforts and people working together and people saying uh, both locally, nationally, and internationally that this is an important industry to us, that we support it, and that we will do uh, everything uh, that we can uh, to create a great experience when people come here is paying dividends and now there are literally hundreds and hundreds of people that have been able to work in film that are working in film that live in Buffalo and Western New York. One more point, you know there are critics that say what are the tangible results? We're spending money, we're doing all of this thing, we're giving tax credits. How does that actually help? How does it actually impact our community? I think it helps because there are are literally hundreds of people that are working, that are making their living in film. That supports the economy. When these films come here, they support the economy in a big way. They stay in our hotels. They eat in our restaurants. You know, they go to movies. They go to other establishments on their, their day off. They bring uh, national and international attention to our community and to the renaissance that's taking place in Buffalo. So I think film has been very very important uh, to the growth and progress that we're seeing in Buffalo and Western New York. And uh, I am so pleased as mayor of the city of Buffalo to be a big supporter of film coming to our community. Senator Gallivan, this has been a long time coming. It seems like, I don't remember what the exact date was, but I, what would Bill Fickner told us so when we all gathered, uh, talking about film credits. Uh, tell me a little bit about what that battle was like for you and, and how it sort of has developed over the years. Well, well first I must say it's very exciting uh, that we're announcing this film here today uh, that was really the, the result of us chasing the film credit legislation um, and who would have believed how well it has done for Western New York uh, but it was very difficult uh, there's other areas of the state that, w that as many people know we were competing against not everybody is willing to do a tax credit I mean more people talk about easing the burden of regulations and taxes not another tax credit that doesn't work this is a tax credit that works and despite the opposition we worked hard traveling throughout the state meeting with the governor's staff meeting with the state film commission people traveling down to new york city the industry people ultimately convincing all of them this is a good thing and now they see the you know, the, the fruits of that labor uh, with the things that are happening in buffalo how important was it for you to have somebody like bill fickner 
saying, we'll come to Buffalo if you have a credit. How important is it to have someone from the actual industry talking you know, to the people that make that decision? I think it's one thing when you have the lawmakers and the representatives from a particular area speaking up on behalf of the area, or when you have other people that work locally here trying to attract films. But when you have somebody from the industry with the credibility that Bill Fickner has, I think that was tremendously important and key to making it happen. Everybody's got to have an angel in this world or, or it all doesn't work out. Um, I've had four. I've had many, many more than that, but four here in Buffalo. I've had Cindy. I've had Rich. I'd have the mayor. And I have that man right up there, Tim Clark. That's right. If you don't have an angel, you get nothing done. Tim Clark, Buffalo Niagara Film Commissioner. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for everybody that hung with us. Thanks for all the pieces of the puzzle that finally came together. Love you. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Behind the Camera. See you next time.